okay welcome back guys so right now what i want to show you how you can download any woody markup most especially the one i'm going to show you and how you can present your logo there like professional okay for you for those those of us that is uh, using foggy ground from below this is an amazing opportunity for you to learn how this thing work but one thing is that you must have at least one minimum one minimum of a uh, 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 one minimum of one gig ram on your Android smartphone. So if you are using a four gig ram phone, make sure that you don't use a set three gig ram. If you already exhausted the three gig ram and you already took part of the one gig ram remain, you might find it difficult to run this is by chances. So for those that is having that, so I'm going to teach you step by step. Like in newbie, someone who doesn't have any experience about this, how you can go into your Chrome bra I mean Google, how you can get the markup how you can save it, how you can extract it, how you can place your design, how you can make it rasterized, how you can transform it to your logo, and how you can save it. How you can retain the color as well. I'm going to show you how to do that like a professional. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to my Chrome browser as I said. So get into my Chrome browser, what I'm going to do is to search. So I want to search 3D, okay, you see 3D, uh, uh, world logo markup so let me search that 3d world logo markup so you can see when i search you can see it this is the mock-up i want to use which people have been receiving a lot of complaint on how to use this so now you can see when you don't tap it and if you want to go to the address is a graphic .com. graphic burger directly you can go there then you search it now click on download So when you click on download, you see this result. Your download will, is starting in zero minutes. You can see, you click on download. Then you see something that will pop up at the screen here. You can see. Then if you don't see it again, you can come to your download. Then you can see where it is being downloaded. So let's check. So the markup is that was already even downloaded. It is it. This is a 3D world logo markup. So there are different way of getting this thing done, okay? So you can see it's downloaded. If I downloaded 22.117 MB, now tap on open. Now this is what I'm telling you. Now before you can run markup on your phone, you need an application called Z Archiver. Once you tap, you finish downloading your markup from a Google or from any website, and you tap on it to open. This thing will come up. Are you getting it? It will come up. Open with what open with z archiver very good now what where will you get the z archiver is there's no any long process in this go to your play store type z archiver download it and close it like that don't open it then immediately you download any mock-up only z archiver you can use the z archiver to extract we have other extracting application as well but i will recommend you to use z archiver because it's very easy so it will pop up you just click on z archiver as a selection just tap once you understand now this did what it allow you to see what is inside that particular markup now this is the markup open it this is the markup this is how it look and how can you see you see something like white paper as an icon then you can see the extension we hand with dot psd extension is the label i'm talking about you can see dot psd as the back that's how to identify markup if it is document it will have dot doc if it is PDF, it will have .pdf. If it is PowerPoint presentation, it will have .ppt. That is the extension, the file address. Now, PSD is always .psd. If it is image, it cannot be replaced with PSD. So for those of us that normally download background, thinking that is a PSD file, go and look at the address here. You will see .jpg, .png. That is no mockup. Now, having got that, what are you going to do? Tap on that mockup. You want to extract you see extract here at the bottom then when you tap that you see an arrow facing down here don't click on that arrow here why are you where are you taking the mock up to click on the open folder new folder here then you name the address let's see deco tutorial deco tutorial you can see the file address name it open the folder now please click that downward arrow it's placed here you can see the mock up 31.73 mb now you go back let us zoom after you download let me go to play store after you download this uh z archiver 
Let me show you the said archive. This said archive. After you download this said archive, you still find it difficult. Okay? After you download the desired archiver, then you came here, you download, you download your logo, but you tap on it to open. You don't see anything like desired archiver. What will you do? Close it back and open your Chrome browser again. Tap on these three line dots, tap on download. Now, you see the marker we downloaded is the first at the top. You What you will do is that don't tap on it again. Let us assume you tap like this and nothing like this show up. Open it, close it back. If you don't see or you are see another application that is different from said archiver just close it and click on three line dot click on share then you go to your z archiver here tap on z archiver open the three d wall logo markup now click on it to extract click extraction where you want to put it deco let me let me put it on that same folder for you to see this to replace deco tutorial then you tap on it. You see replace. So it's the same thing. Now that's two way. If you have an issue with that. Very good. Now let's go back to our Chrome browser now. We want to run the markup. The first step has been done. Go to uh, type for 2p. www.photop.com Then this is it, right? You can refresh if you like. Now tap open from computer. Click on file. You will see three line dots here too. You can see three line dots tap on it then you can see z archiver at the bottom the last go to download we we'll go to download then you look at the top yes the download here you can see now when you see the download next thing is to go to deco tutorial that's the folder we see the psd file now tap on it it will load so it's loading now we we'll have to wait there are two areas where we need to wait here. You wait when you are importing your mockup because each mockup take a longer time. Their time of duration, I mean their time, the time they took, they take in, in, in terms of speed uh, is different, is different. So it depends on the content of the mockup at time that make it uh, 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 taking longer period, uh, longer time before it get loaded. So another thing is uh, your browser. I mean the kind of browser you are using if you are using a browser that is outdated might not be able to what might not be able to run fast another thing is your network if your network are not really good it means it will be taking a, 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 a little time before it get loaded so those are the things uh, uh, we need to consider another thing is that uh, there's something we call a buffer buffer is a uh, a kind of a, a program that normally hold an information before it become processing when you search anything on Google, not like magic, immediately you search something, you see it. You see, it depends on your phone, depends on many things. And the buffer too, we what? We send the signal to where the source of the information is before it displays on your screen. Do you understand? You see what is a computer. Before it will load and give you all the results, everything get loaded, it takes a little time. Something that holds those information before it becomes processing is what they call buffer. So you need to be considered that. So after the buffer done with everything, you can see the result here. You can see it this is how it look my dear brother and sister type on the layer here this is the layer don't click any other thing you see we have first icon that is having time we have second one like color we have the third one third one the one that look like file they place on top of each other just tap on it when you tap on it and it open you see your logo here double tap gently not add then you see replace me this mock-up is crying for replacement just hide it I want to replace now i've hide it you hide the design there click on file to back now the next thing you are going to do click on the file open and place the file again then we are replacing with which design with our design here then you be you wait a bit for it to load it won't take more time then you drag make it fit in remember your input will be your output if you make it smaller the result will be too smaller and this particular mock-up normally crop automatically as well so that it will not go beyond the layer so it's better when you uh, you, you 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 zoom it out very well so when you shrink it and make it smaller it will be perfect the way you want it so now we have it please what are we going to do click on file click on save with smart object now this is where we need to relax because it will take a little seconds minutes before it will run. So what you need to do is to what? Is to be looking at the screen of your phone. So immediately you see smart object updated. Now you are good to go.
Okay? You see smart object updated? Now, let me tell you something. After you click smart object or you saw smart object updated, there are some people, they find it difficult. They are waiting for magic. No magic will happen here. If you are looking at the, after you see smart object updated, then you are looking at your screen to see something change. Nothing will change, my dear brother and sister. Because of one thing that we do not understand is this, and that's why you need to learn. Okay? You need to learn more and know how this thing work. Look at the top. Look at here. You see something I click here, 3D. You see, I've changed it. You see. You see another one here. You see, I've changed. I, I want to change it back. Or well, let me change this one. And if I can't change it, no while. You see, there's this thing. I just change it. Okay. You are interested in 3D. If your cursor is on this chip, believe me, it won't transform. You have to click here. When you tap here, you'll be waiting. Be looking at the screen of your phone. Okay. It's automatically changed. And how can you know whether you are working on this one? Immediately you tap on that one, just click on your on the layer again. The layer will not open again. Okay? The layer will not open because it's running underground. Remember, this mock up asks us to replace. So, one thing, when you see smart object updated, doesn't mean that the mock up has already. You are converting your design you are bringing in terms of PNG towards to smart objects. So once it changes to smart object, it means it has the attributes, it has the characteristics to now transform to 3D. That is just a process. So it has the ability, it has the characteristics, attributes to change to what? Change to 3D. So once you have that, the next thing now that you know smart object is updated, you can now have the confidence to come here and tap on this 3D. So when you tap on the 3D, it will now take it in. So that one will take a little seconds too. Before it take to 3D, it's like you give someone fertilizer so that at least the person will be able to germinate well. So it takes a little time before it will work, before it will rotate. But everything is under five minutes. You will be done. So let me be looking at the screen. And be tapping on this layer. But for what you, once you tap on that one, you'll see that when you tap on the layer here, everything's st stiff. You can drop your phone and walk away. You see, but before you come down, everything will be done but it doesn't even take more time but some people it's not what it's not patient and that's why at time whenever i'm running this kind of a thing i normally listen to music watching video or doing all that stuff so that at least i will not be able to be rushed i will sell the thing work so and it's just as perfect as that so and when you see we can't click anything here again unlike before before i type it so we'll be looking at the screen you see no time you can see you see the results right you can see so I can name my mock-up here. This one get telling us to name it. So, but I'm not name it. I can say Deco Tutorial. You can see. So when I share that mock-up, people will see that it's in my it's my own. You can see I've changed that object. Instead of 3D, I've changed it. Now, another tricks I want to show us. You see, this one is not really look okay. I don't like it. The color is gone away. How can I retain my color to make it more okay? Very simple. Tap on the layer. This is where we work started. When you tap on the layer, you can see extraction. Extraction. Tap on the layer file there. You see there is a drop down arrow there. Tap on it lightly. It will facing down. Now, you can see we have a lot of layer. You might be thinking which am I going to be clicking now. The first one, you see in front of you, you have EFF. There is a drop down arrow there. Click on it too. You see the gradient overlay. Close it. When you close it, I want to teach you like a newbie, someone who doesn't have experience. When you tap on that gradient over it, it takes a little second before it will hide. Because I want to hide it. I click on the high icon beside it. You see it has hidden now. You tap on the layer again to go and see whether it's done. But you can see something there. It's not changing, but it's brighter than before. That's the first step. Now go back. Tap on the second layer. You are going to hide the gradient again. Then you'll be looking at the screen of your phone. Okay? Be looking at the screen of your phone. One, it's hidden too. We are going to check. Let's go and check. You can see the result. We have already retained our color like a professional. You can see. And if you want to see, want that to, those red particles to be showing, you can replace. Unhide the first gradient that you hide. To make it more brighter, that is the first layer I hide. I mean, the first gradient I hide under the first layer to make it retain the color. That's the second gradient I hide. 
then you can see if you have a reddish particle we not make it more brighter which is not professional so for some people who normally gamble doesn't have more knowledge this is how you can do this and when you present that you see your clean job you see a lot of things and there's more to this even after finishing this i'm going back to another application where i will show you in the, my next tutorial where you are going to polish this and make the background more elevated and present it to your client and they will say this is an amazing work and once you are done with this just tap on the file then you go to export as png here double tap it then when you click on that you wait a little seconds you see another window will pop up where you will see you see my name now Deco tutorial just tap on save when you tap on that you agree to watch so this is a, a new feature on the photo p so if you don't subscribe you need to watch a video for three seconds before you can watch it because you can download this so after watching but it's not taking more time anyway so i'm waiting for the video to show so that i can have my own makeup So you can see the sound the video is showing now so when you don't show in it will download uh, respond to my actions okay then you can see at the top now another window will pop up that will get this thing downloaded you can see the results okay good so let's view it and see how it look now my dear brother sister see the results see the result you see this is just what this is just wow very simple and this is how you can run this i'm running this on my 4 gig ram phone and i have 1.9 ram gig left 1.9 gig ram approximately 2 gig ram so you run this perfectly so if you're having that and you don't know how this thing work you need to learn my dear brother and daughter, brother sister and see how this thing work i'm producing it because i'm producing more i will in my next video i will show you another tricky shell or uh, 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 mock-up well, now you can download them and use them for live professional before we shoot a flyer so stick around to my channel click the bell icon to be notified whenever i update my channel with amazing video like this and don't forget to hit the subscribe button comment on your way back like and share as well so that you won't miss any of my tutorial again thank for watching may god bless you